Hello YouTubers and uh, this is a video for instructions if you've got a Note 3 and you've upgraded to Lollipop some things that are different than that and some things that if you're confused about them or not sure about I'm here to go through them so first of all uh, when you pull down the notifications I can see you are turning your brightness down you can see that it gives you an actual preview of what it's going to look like. You'll also find that in the notification panel that the quick toggles are now rounded and like uh, the S5 except it's a bit brighter and also it doesn't go right to the edge anymore. You'll also find now that you can only enable the camera shortcut. You cannot have up to five shortcuts anymore, just the camera, that is it. However, this can be fixed in a third party app from the Google Play Store. So if we open it up, uh, you can see here I've enabled 3D scrolling. However, what you'll get is if you just tap on the menu button, you'll come to this screen if you go on home screen settings and you can disable my magazine if you want to as well if you click on here you can get the card stack which is like on the S5 and Note 3 you can click no effect or the 3D rotation which I prefer you also see that folders are different and, that, and uh, you can now change the colour of them whatever you want so you can have it green uh, blue grey whatever that's all there also now uh, multitasking is much easier this way now if you just hold down on the back button you can see here you've got your multi windows which you can just uh, drag and drop to wherever I can have that one there, that one there, and also when you hold down the home button, you've got that card interface as well, which is always good. Uh, something that you may have when you first get on is uh, the ability not to be able to do this on Google Chrome so what you need to do is get this sort of interface back rather than having it as separate card tiles so go into settings and then click this option that says merge tabs and apps you want to click that off and then you get the normal tab interface back To open a window on top of everything else, uh, what you want to do is just hold down the home button and tap an app. And there you go. Uh, this can also be done by a compatible app by dragging in the corner and to resize the app. But this can literally just float over everything. Before, you could do this on the Note 3 beforehand, but you would have to use the stylus and obviously if you go into settings general about device and keep clicking on the android button and hold down you get the lollipop game I'm looking at this through a camera so I can't really I have no chance of playing it I can just close that. Close that. Click the home button again. Uh, mainly everything else is just a design change. Uh, we've got obviously Google's material design on top of everything here. And for example, in the contacts, I will draw in my contacts though. So, uh, it looks different. Uh, the camera is exactly the same though. It's the same camera app as before. I don't know why Samsung never changed the cameras. You've also got the other multitasking button there as well. 
it's still holding on the home button and that. Um, let's access all your apps. Nothing's really changed in the app drawer either. Um, no extra features that are particularly being added. Though the phone itself does feel a lot faster than it was before. And this is pretty much a great way of breathing new life into an older phone, though it is still a fast phone. In terms of the stylus, um, some features from the Note have made its way over, like image clip, uh, screen light, I believe that was on there before, smart select books, also can copy text just that and use it basically as uh, a mouse Ooh, didn't mean to do that so you can use the stylus as a kind of mouse if you wish and I think that makes the stylus more useful and it's great that pretty much uh, most of the Note 4's features have been passed on to the Note 3 obviously you're not going to get that 2 key display and you're not going to get that 16 megapixel camera on the back or the 3.7 megapixel camera on the front. Uh, also gone is um, the lock screen widgets. They are gone. That there is a way uh, to get them back, but you're going to have to uh, create a custom ROM for that. And that voids your warranty. This does not void your warranty. This is an official update from Samsung. So this will not void your warranty in any way. So wait, that is it YouTubers. And I'll see you next time.